You know, Toby Keith once sang about a bar and grill but, little did we know, he'd be teaching us about something far less appetizing, stomach cancer. You see, Toby Keith with his cowboy hat and boots, was more than just a country music icon. He was a storyteller, a poet, and a bard of the modern era, weaving tales of love, life, and the occasional whiskey-induced escapade. Remember that one time he got so lost in the music that he swore he was on a horse, only to realize he was straddling the barstool? But the melodies turned somber in the fall of 2021 when Toby Keith was diagnosed with stomach cancer. It was as unexpected as a sudden key change in a country song. Just when you think you've got the rhythm, the tune takes a sharp turn, leaving you scrambling to keep up. Stomach cancer, or as the medical folks call it, gastric cancer, is a tricky beast. It sneaks up on you just like that raccoon that Toby Keith once mistook for his pet cat. One day you're strumming along and the next you're wrestling with symptoms like weight loss, abdominal pain, and early satiety, which is just a fancy way of saying you feel full after eating a small amount of food. Just like the chorus of a good country song, these symptoms can be repetitive and persistent, but unlike a catchy tune, they're not something you'd want stuck in your head. Now you might be wondering, why are we talking about this? Toby Keith sang about pickup trucks and sweet tea, not stomach cancer. Well friends, sometimes life throws at you a curveball, or in this case, a stomach cancer diagnosis. And it's important to face the music, no matter how off-key it may sound. So, Toby Keith went from belting out country tunes to fighting a battle against stomach cancer. Talk about a plot twist. Now, stomach cancer might not have made it onto any of Keith's song lists, but it sure did make an entrance in his life. It's like that rowdy patron in a country bar who you just can't ignore, with symptoms such as weight loss, abdominal pain, nausea, heartburn, and early satiety. Imagine a bar brawl in your belly and you're halfway there. Just like that bar patron, stomach cancer doesn't play fair. It's got a survival rate of about 36%, or about the same odds as a new country artist trying to hit it big on the charts. It's a tough game folks and stomach cancer is playing for keeps. And just like those old country songs about hard living, stomach cancer has a connection to some of our less healthy habits. In the early 20th century, it was more common thanks to a diet heavy in salted and smoked foods. And while we've moved on to barbecue and fried chicken, those old habits still linger in parts of the world, making stomach cancer more prevalent. But just like any good country song, there's a message of hope in there too. Advances in treatment like immunotherapies and targeted therapies are helping to change the tune. It's like when the band strikes up a new song and the dance floor fills up again. We're making progress, and while we can't always avoid that rowdy patron, we're learning better ways to deal with him. And, like any good country singer knows, the key to a good life is a balanced one. Doctors recommend a healthy lifestyle, keeping the alcohol and tobacco to a minimum, and getting regular exercise. It's like tuning your guitar, folks. You've got to keep everything in balance. Genetic testing is also available for those with a family history of stomach cancer. It's like knowing the chords before you step on stage, it gives you a head start and helps you prepare for what's coming. So, stomach cancer might be an uninvited guest, but it's one that's hard to kick out of the party. It's a tough road, but with the right tools and a little bit of that country spirit, we can face it head on. But Toby Keith wasn't about to let stomach cancer steal his spotlight without a fight. If there's one thing Toby Keith knew, it was how to command a stage. And when he was diagnosed with stomach cancer in the fall of 2021, he did what any seasoned performer would do. He turned it into one of his most challenging performances yet. You see, Toby didn't just face cancer, he stared it down with the same grit and gusto he'd used to tell off a music critic. And in true Toby Keith fashion, he probably told that cancer to take a hike, in a melody so catchy, even the cancer cells had to tap their feet. But Toby wasn't alone on this stage, he was backed by an ensemble of doctors and medical advancements that were like new instruments in his band. These weren't your run-of-the-mill guitars and drums, oh no. These were groundbreaking therapies like immunotherapies and targeted therapies that are changing the tune of the battle against cancer. Now these treatments aren't magic bullets, but they've come a long way since the days when stomach cancer was as common as a bad country song in a dive bar. And just as music has evolved, so too has our understanding and treatment of this disease. It's like swapping out an old out-of-tune banjo for a shiny new guitar. It may not guarantee a chart-topping hit, but it sure improves the odds. Toby's battle with cancer wasn't a solo performance either. He was surrounded by a chorus of supporters, from his family and friends to his fans worldwide. They cheered him on, sang his songs, and kept his spirit alive, even when the lights on his personal stage were starting to dim. 
And so, Toby Keith's encore wasn't on a stage but in the face of stomach cancer, he might not have won the battle, but he sure did put on a show.